Uh, well, it's no, uh, it's no secret that Movie Pass has been. I think I'm going to switch seats with Matt. Right yeah, no, I'm going to be. <laughs> I can tell where this is going. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was why we wanted to have you here, right? Because we wanted to understand from you, from your perspective, what is happening with Movie Pass is extremely uh, disruptive, uh, and we we are all about disruption here at the Grill uh, Company in the movie ticketing space, and. Um, what did you see there, right? Mitch Lowe had sort of came in in 2015 and really started uh, turbocharging the company, but then you came in and further, I'd say, turbocharged it by cutting the price in half of a monthly subscription, aggressively driving the numbers, which you've done successfully of your subscribers, but you have everybody all over the industry saying your business model doesn't work. Correct. So why does it work? Oh, you want me to explain? Why the business model it, does uh, work, yeah. It, it, it's interesting. When we started with MoviePass, when I first um, decided to acquire the company, it was really the data. What we saw, you know, they had 12,000 subscribers. They were trying to raise money, you know, over the last year, year and a half. They, they weren't very successful at that. But I believe if the data was true that they had on the 12,000, that they were testing of getting you know, 48% of them to go to another theater of our choice, things like that, that it would be a home run, especially if you could build it where you had the leverage where you would build it to millions of subscribers. So when we were going to 995, we always knew from day one that the subscription side of the business would really be break even or make a few dollars. Not, it was never gonna be where it was all, it was more like your lost leader, is how you would look at it. Mm -hmm. And then it was to really drive our own content at the theater side, so on theatrical side, when you're pushing people into the theater, you're gonna make more money on the movies that you own, you know, like right. Movie Pass films, where you're gonna make it with Amazon or Netflix and Redbox and all the ancillary revenues. So that was really the whole plan all along to do it on that side. Um, and then also doing the advertising side with the studios. And I think we have So to sell the data from your subscribers to the studios, Right, we don't sell any data. Let me make that clear, right? Okay. We do it, we'll, but we do use our data to market the films for say, some of the studios out here. If they know they're looking for a certain audience of where they want it, what parts of the country they want it, where they want to test, we do that all the time right now. And we've got probably 20 studios that we do it with. That you're running marketing campaigns for their movies? Oh yeah. And sort of a direct email? Oh yeah, we uh, do email, we do push notification, and mm -hmm. then we got some other things coming out probably over the next 30 days, different things that we're testing as well. But you, uh, w there's a story after story that's come out that says that you're facing bankruptcy. Is that true? Not true, not true at all. I mean, I think you told me that story in May when I landed in France. That's <laughs> true, we first met in Cannes and- She goes, I, I know you only got a week to live, so can you come <laughs> by for dinner? That was six months ago or whatever it was. You can always eat. No, but um, no, not true, it's, it's interesting because I think on the West Coast is very VC driven, you know, with venture capital. Mm -hmm. On the East Coast is more Wall Street driven. Mm -hmm. And obviously that was the course that we chose. Um, Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, on the public side. And, right. and we've raised, you know, well over $400 million and put in over 300 and some odd million into Movie Pass alone. I think last year we bought like 600 million, 700 million dollars worth of tickets that we bought. So, you know, um, we'd like to think even though an AMC or whatever might say that we're unsustainable, I'd look at it a different way. We have no debt. They got billions in debt, so it, it all depends on who's, who's looking at it or what lens. But going back to what you're saying about uh, financing, we've been able to raise the money all along with our institutional investors. And people don't understand that because they don't see it happen on a day-to-day -day basis. They'll see it the next quarter or whatever it is. But your institutional investors can't be happy when the stock drops as low as it has. It's actually, actually, the institutional investors are happy because they were in it way back when of, of funding us along the way. So um, they're, they're the same ones that come to the plate every time. So they've invested with us, some of them from day one, even before movie passed. They've been part of it. So is bank, I, I'm, I'm asking because uh, you told me that this reporting out there about you that is incorrect. Oh, is, sure. Is, is it tr not true then that MoviePass is facing a bankruptcy? We have never even considered it, not even, not even close. I mean, you know, you'll see in, you know, filings coming out, um, you know, last month alone, we took out 68 million out of the market. So it's not, you last know. Last month alone? We, I don't yeah, we got from investors 
north of 65 million. It was like 68. Are they shorting the stock or are they? No, 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 no. But, but Wall Street believes in the concept of what we've done. Now it's just proven out the model. Now it's really proven out the model with movie pass, movie pass films, um, and really driving our own content as well as the advertising. Well,